Hello, beloved. This is Tracy L. Moore, a.k.a. The Purposeful Poet, bringing you spiritual truths through poetry. I also bring you greetings from Chesapeake Christian Center in Chesapeake, Virginia, where life is unlimited. My purpose is to encourage, uplift, and inspire you to be your best for Christ. And I'm here again today with more Motivation on Monday. That's M-O-O-R-E, Motivation on Monday. And the poem for today is from my second book, The Exceptional Man, Love Poems, and Inspirational Writings, Celebrating Godly Men and Great Relationships. The title of the poem is, the exceptional man. Your walk, your talk, your strength, your style, your conversation, the warmth of your smile. You're a brother who goes the extra mile, a man of integrity. On your life, God has a call. You're a wonderful man. You do it all. Above the rest, you stand so tall, an exceptional man indeed. You're given to prayer. You serve God well. On your knees, you attack the gates of hell. You're a man of valor. Anyone can tell. A light for the world to see. You're intriguing to me, O oh man of the cross. Your goal in this life is to win the loss. You're stable when winds and waves may toss. Exceptional is what you are. A word in season you always give. In him you breathe, you move, you live. Your attitude is just so positive. In my eyes, you are truly a star. When my mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Psalm 27 and 10. Maya Angelou wrote a poem, The Phenomenal Woman, which is a celebration of womanhood. The poem for today, The Exceptional Man, was written as a celebration of good Christian men who love God, strive to do the right thing, take care of their families, love their wives, love their kids. And they are true examples of what good godly men ought to be. They're not perfect men, but they love Jesus and they do have a spirit of excellence. To all of you exceptional men out there, gentlemen, we salute you. I hope that you had a spectacular Father's Day on yesterday. But not everyone had the blessing of a good father growing up. Many people have issues stemming from how their father treated them when they were children. Many children are growing up without a father in the home. In fact, fatherlessness is an epidemic in this country and has been said to be the underlying cause of many societal ills such as crime, out of wedlock pregnancies, and skyrocketing school dropout rates. Some children don't know who their father is because they have never met their biological male parent. Sometimes the father was in the home but was emotionally unavailable. Maybe he was present but abusive. But regardless of how our earthly parents may have treated us, we need to understand that God is a good, good father. He's the best parent in the universe. I was sitting in church one day years ago and I still remember that sermon to this day because it was so profound. Dr. B. Courtney McBath preached a sermon about God's impeccable parenting skills. And he relayed that a difficult relationship with your parent does not mean that you will lack in any way because of it. If you trust the father, he will not leave you at a disadvantage because you didn't get what you needed from your earthly parents. God is indeed an exceptional father. I thought about the characteristics of an exceptional earthly father. And here is a list of things that I came up with, keeping in mind that this list is by no means exhaustive and there's no specific order. Number one, they love their children unconditionally. They make it clear that although they do not always like their children's behavior, they love them unconditionally as individuals. Likewise, God says he loves us with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 and 3. Number two, they bless their children with their words. The definition of bless is to speak well of. Mark 10 and 16 says Jesus took the children in his arms and blessed them. Good dads encourage their kids to be the best that they can be by pointing out their strengths and speaking words of life to them and encouraging them. Number three, they teach their children about the Lord and how to apply the word to their life. Ephesians 6 and 4 says, fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and the instruction of the Lord. That's a father's job. Saints, the word of God says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Psalms 27 and 10. So even if you didn't have a perfect dad, even if your father was not classified as an exceptional man, be encouraged that God can and will reparent you in whatever ways your biological father dropped the ball. 
I thank God that he trains us through his word and sends godly spiritual mentors who love us and help us to become the best that we can be. So gentlemen, even if you didn't have an exceptional dad with the Holy Spirit's assistance, you can still be an exceptional dad who is a great blessing to his children. Amen. Now let's go out and make it a good week. Let's take the time to verbalize our appreciation for the exceptional men in our lives. By the way, I encourage you to go to my website, tracylmore.com and check out my blog. And while you're there, you can sign up to receive my bi-weekly newsletter as well. If this content has blessed you, please be sure you click the like button below and hit the subscribe button if you're watching on my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you next week and may God bless you real good.